Hi everyone, so I'm Calissa and I am here with a great DIY. Um, I have a training down in basic training and I wanted to create a forage candle. Now, what is a forage candle? A forage candle is a candle that um, you light during the time of their last obstacle course, which is um, called a forage. So they go through all these different feats. They go through rucking, they go through um bearing equipment they go through just all these things that they have to accomplish and this is kind of like the rite of passage so here is the one that i created for my husband as you can see it's very nice and then here's the back and it was super simple and easy to make now um i originally got this candle from the dollar tree it was only a dollar i got I got gift tissue, the white version, and it came with 35 sheets, so I can literally make a couple of candles, like a lot, as many as I want. I have two pieces of printer paper, I have a glue stick, I have scissors, and I have wax paper, okay? And then this is the, another candle that I have bought. It's basically the same size. It's the same size, same color. I stuck with white because I was using white gift wrapping paper. Um, this was three bucks. So literally you can go online and you see how much these candles run up for. And they cost about $30 sometimes. $25 to $35 depending. And literally either they'll do it for you or you're just printing out the sticker which means you still have to buy a pack of the sticker paper. Um, so this is my take on it. I do have a blow dryer. Don't drive me for this blow dryer now, okay? When I had a lot of hair, this little part kept on coming off and I was just sick of it. So now I don't have any hair, but I have a long hair um, Chihuahua Yorkie mix and I just sanitize it each time I use it and I strap it on. So yeah, I was done. When I say I had thick hair, I had thick hair. There might even be some teeth missing in that comb because <laughs> my hair was so thick, it broke combs. Um, but yeah, so pretty much what you'll start off doing is, the only thing that I purchased was the tissue paper and the candles, um, which comes, runs you about what? Even if it's $2.99, this is what, a dollar? So you paid what, $3.99 for everything? Like compared to $30, you can't beat that, so what you will start off doing is you will have your template and you will normally put things like you know a picture of your trainee you can put an american flag you can put whatever flag you want um whatever branch it is and then you'll put the platoon you know where they're stationed at and then like your graduation date at the bottom um on the back i just kind of followed the other victory candles or whatever victory forge candles and I just put like the deets, um, what they all done and completed with the branch um, emblem in the bag. And I just, all I did was I um, put it on transparent, the picture in the back, brought it to the back, and then I just wrote in the front and brought it up. So I do have a template. If you would like to use that template, go ahead. You can customize it and do everything that you would like to it, but I will give y'all that. But this is just a breakdown of what I did, okay? So let me get this out of the shoe. Oh, goodness. You may hear my dogs walking in the back. Never mind them. They're just doing what dogs do. So I'm gonna take one of my pieces of paper and I am going to Cut. I'm gonna bring it and I'm gonna have at least maybe like a fourth of an inch or maybe an inch that's probably an inch that's more like an inch so I want an inch all around because you're gonna paste and then fold okay so I'm gonna cut trying to leave an inch it doesn't have to be exactly beautiful you don't have to take a ruler. You could probably use a ruler, but it doesn't have to be that exact. I'm just eyeballing it. And it may 
move around a little bit. But just and what I like about this is it was super easy to create, like literally took me no time. So I have my cutout. And this is what you're gonna do. When you put it in the printer, mine's, it kind of makes sure you're putting it in the right way because you're gonna put, like in my printer, I have to put it face down. So you want to print on the tissue paper, okay? I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna do one side at a time, okay? Make sure you put a good amount on there just to cover it, but you don't want to go over the tissue paper. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I just push the paper down. Office and I printed it out my um the back and the front of my candle this side kind of smeared a little bit i heard it was kind of like struggling to spit it out but it'll be okay it'll okay be okay it kind of looks a little rusted this is not perfect it's it's all right it's a candle so yeah so basically what i i did was i just cut as close to the wording out so i'm sorry I cut as close to the wording out and I cut them into three pieces. So I cut it the picture and then I cut the actual um, graduation command information. And then same for this, I just cut as close to the word and then around. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start cutting. And then I'll show you how I place it onto the candle. what I would say is to go with the name first and you're just going to take that off of the piece of paper and you're going to place it onto your candle in the position that you want it. I have mine as close to the top. It's okay if you bring it down a little bit but as you can see that's where I'm placing mine. Um, I'm going to place that right here. And then I'm gonna get out a piece of wax paper. I'm gonna get a brand new one. I had one from my other, my first candle. And I'll show you how that looks. This one is just beat up. <laughs> so I'm gonna retire you. I'm gonna get a new piece. Hopefully I have enough hedges. So I am gonna do maybe like a, this much. It's probably like, as long as two of my hands. And then what I, what I would suggest you do is to put it over. And then what I love about this is you can actually see where the stencil is. So I'm not necessarily sure that's where I want my placement. So I'm gonna just move it up a little bit. And that looks perfect to me. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty straight. So what I just do is I will
All right, so what I do love about this is you can kind of see when it's done. So it kind of goes from this opaque looking words to like a glossy looking word. So as you can see, it looks like it's done. We're gonna just check it out and see. Hopefully it is. It looks like it, my Y needs a little bit more time. So I'm just gonna heat this back up and make sure that everything is there. Yes, so we are good to go. Okay. So I'm just trying to get any remnants of loose wax off of there. And there you have it. There you have it.
she's complete. Perfect. Okay, so that's my back. Absolutely perfect. So you really could use this piece of wrapping paper, I mean, um, wax paper over and over again. It's up to you. You may have a little bit of, you know, wax here and there residue, but for the most part, it's good. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Come on out. Like, tell me that doesn't look professional. Tell me this doesn't look professional. So here's the two different designs I did. One is, I want to say, the Army Insignia. And then one, you can barely see it, but it is like the Army, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Just, my mind's going blank. But this is the Eagle. And then this has the American flag and then the army flag. So yeah, I think this is the army insignia and then this is the army flag. So yeah, it came out pretty good. These are great gifts that you can give to your family members just, um, and then they can also light it up, you know, if you do it in enough time uh, to kind of help guide your sit through the forge, so. Yeah, hopefully you like this. Hopefully this is easy. But y'all have a great one. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, definitely comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Um, 